104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, in the studio this morning with Jay Stevens. And I'm in a weird chair trying to find, he's What trying happened to find, his chair? Trying to, he's trying to find... Yeah. He's, he's messing with my chair. I don't know, like, man. Oh, man. You and that. You Somebody and that. was sitting in my chair. <laughs> you and that, dude. <laughs> Different that chair heights. Also... And every, every day, you both keep coming in, and one of them changes it this way. Who is it doing Ned this Reynolds? to the chair? <laughs> Give me his bobblehead. Me, ironically, Ned Reynolds and I are the only two people in this building that have bobbleheads as well. Yeah, so. that's true. That's also true. Um, Battle hopefully. of the bobbleheads. Yeah, dude, uh, so funny. All right, Stark Side of the Stream, episode 103. Uh, this is my pick this week. It's called Untold, the uh, girlfriend that didn't exist documentary dude. on Netflix. Telling a story about Manti Teo, Teo, Manti Te- Manti Teo. Manti, I knew I was going to do it. Manti Teo. Uh, did you ever hear about this kid coming out of Hawaii? You're a Hawaii boy. Yeah, yeah, we would hear about him. Uh, what do they yeah. call themselves? Lila boys or Lyle boys or Wailea, Wailea Wailea boys yeah. or something like uh, that? The, the, the football school that he went to is the real strong football school out there. Like, really? All the good football kids go to that school and get He was a monster, man. Yeah, he, he was, was a monster. 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 Um, a long line of family of, of yeah, cousins it was like and brothers. Through, like, yeah. My uncle played for yeah, these guys. Yeah, yeah. My dad were, did this. A lot of pros, all, yeah. It was like if you want to get out, Sopa, yeah. wasn't that crazy though? Like they, were, he was like, you want to get off this island. The only way to do it, yeah. football scholarship. And that's it. Yeah. It's just an unbelievably dedicated young man who would end up getting catfished by a guy who uh, we'll get into that later. Like the OG catfish story, yeah, right? This was this like when, the first one. I'm sure it was happening. It was the like, first one when like, everybody goes, "Wait, what are people doing?" Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a national yeah, scale. Yeah, but it had already been going on yeah. for as long as it uh, this stuff exists. I mean, there's you know, it's been happening in in dark corners of the web for a long time. Have you ever had any uh, interesting uh, Facebook internet uh, internet yeah, yeah, girlfriends? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, catfish. I mean girls hitting you up and i get a lot of i'm sure you get a day after shows i get a lot of interesting messages in my inbox but i actually years ago when the internet was first coming out there were chat rooms you'd go in and i was in a chat room and talking with the girl well the icq or whatever yeah some girl you know where it said she was a girl and sending me pictures like like sending topless pictures like nice modeling beautiful girl in hawaii she was in hawaii i was like yeah cool then you know, is she a boy? Is she a girl? Is she faking me? Well, no, talk on the phone. Yeah, legit. And she ended up flying out to LA. And like, she somehow got a hold of my mom and like they set it up and like she just showed up. Um, thankfully, she was a girl. Um, yeah, she was pretty sprung for a while. Okay. Was, you, so you ended up having a little thing with this chick? Yeah, yeah. Some relations. We hung out for a little bit. Um, some relations. Whatever. Yeah, it was actually the story. Banged her and then the she story went back is to way Hawaii. more. The end. The story, <laughs> no, the story is way more complex than that. But I have a feeling we need to tell that story off air because it's it's a little bit crazy. Uh, okay, well, we'll we'll just take my version of that. Yes. Banged her. She went back to Hawaii. Yeah, no, the end. I don't know where she's at now. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> yeah. it was a successful catfish story, but I didn't get catfish. Uh, I got I met, floundered. I met my wife. Uh, not, I, I met her in person, but the the first time um, I actually talked to her, she requested it was her birthday, and she hit up the Cave Facebook page, said, "Hey, I'm listening. Can you play this song for my birthday?" What? That's how it started. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then we oh. started kind of chatting, um, and then I, I was playing God shows every other every weekend, like you, like, yeah. like two or three a week, and she came to one, and uh, what was it? Well, so, but these the are real stories. See, when the catfish thing happens, it's somebody faking, pretending to be somebody someone pretending they're not. To be someone uh, not. You know, I, we, you and I get so much stuff socially. Yeah. It's it's really hard to. You just kind of have to be. It's always it's like the Reagan thing: trust but verify. Well, you know what yeah, I mean? this guy, you know, this man I tell you, was talking to this chick, and this. If you're calling someone your girlfriend for a long time, and especially in the media and stuff, like he was on a big scale, like. You probably should meet her. He was a very, person. very naive person. Um, he was probably a virgin when all this went down. Um, he was definitely sheltered, um, you know, Mormon. And he was very, very religious. He still is. Um, so, yeah, for the normal person like you and me, if we have a long-term relationship with someone, eventually, if after all this time of not seeing them, you have to meet and hang on person. Would you kind of, but but as the person who pulled the catfish said, I did every trick that you could possibly do. My phone connection's not there. I can see you, but you can't see me and turn the camera off, stuff like that. And he just believed it because he is a very good person. He believed he wants to believe the best in everybody. And, and there was one, there was one picture that 
made you really question it. Like, because then, wait a minute, that is the girl and that is the, the date. Oh, oh, when he yeah, when he's like, oh, dude, I want to prove it. This story, I remember when it happened but, and it was crazy. But, but this yeah, story that, is deeper than I thought yeah, it was. It, it is. And we need to take a break and come back because there's a lot of layers to peel back on this dark side of the stream on 104.7 The Cave. One hundred four point seven, the cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. It is Dark Side of the Stream, episode one hundred three, discussing untold the girlfriend who didn't exist. So let's switch gears and talk about the person that pulled off the catfish. At the time, was a Polynesian male, um, and played football played as well. Football, um, His brother and cousins or whatever were all yeah, same kind of football players. same kind of upbringing, <laughs> yeah. not the same place, and and <clears> honestly, <throat> didn't know him, but um. Uh, from obviously from a young age probably wanted to identify as a woman and instead of just facing it head on and saying look going to his family and saying hey i want to be a woman and that's it that's what i want which at the the crazy thing is at the end of all this he goes back to uh, wherever, uh, wherever Polynesia now, where it's yeah. literally like not looked down upon like there are that's no. been part of their culture forever like yeah. you identify if, you, if you're He's born embraced. a man you can dress like a woman it's no big deal it is what it is that's yeah. the way it's been for centuries and thousands yeah. of years since in their existence so whenever he and i guess maybe faith had something to do with it whatever his upbringing i don't know but like to me at the end of the day when all this is done he's like i went back to Poly polynesia or whatever the hell it was yeah. and i can just be who i am there i'm like that's awesome that you found peace but why the hell did you do that to yeah. begin with so instead of doing that decides to create a female persona online and starts acting like a woman through this profile and that's essentially i think how this whole thing starts but it gets man yeah, yeah and, and, and builds up a story by connecting some people as family members and right. cousins and stuff it was very slick man the whole orchestration it, it and nuts. they would talk on the phone and this guy could make his voice sound like a woman. It was Even on, so that much was, that the FBI said there's no possible there were like way that's guy. One in a mil, eight million yeah. chance at this. And, and, and this guy and can then do Dr. It. Phil somehow on pays Dr. this Phil. dude. Again, Dr. Again, Phil. Dr. Phil's, Dr. Phil's in the video in documentary. You know it's a good one, man. But you know he paid this guy a lot of money to get yeah. this interview. And again, that the, that's the whole thing about this is this this girl, this woman who identifies as a woman now is garbage. She doesn't feel like she has. I don't think she really has any remorse as to what no, she did to Manti, so Manti at all. Manti Tail for sure lost out on millions of dollars. It, it, losing out in the first round of the draft was big. Losing it, out, you know uh, that his head wasn't in the game on the that first, yeah. championship uh, I game. I think he finally kind of got back into himself when he went to New Orleans after the Chargers, you know. But like she had absolutely no remorse no. in her eyes. And it was almost as if she said, this had to happen for me to become the person I am. Look at the damage you caused yeah, to him, his family, all these um, people for just not being, I, I just, it's sometimes the simplest thing is the hardest thing, but do just do that. It's and a crazy it, documentary. It's crazy. It's, the story, everybody probably knows the story because it played out basically on ESPN in real time. Well, and that's, that's the thing. Like, I, and I'll say this, first of all, like I, when this happened, I was one of the ones that were like, oh, fake girlfriend. What a cool dude. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, everybody thought he then, made the story then, yeah. up and about his girlfriend that Charger, died. And, and, and as that. a Chiefs fan, I was like, oh, this is even more, you know, because anytime they'd play, they'd play the Chiefs, I was making uh, oh, I jokes know. about everybody that dude was. all day. Well, so dude, I, and I would play online poker at the time. And on online poker, you have screen names, you know, for your, 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 your avatar. That was your <laughs> and no. A screen name at a table, though, was Fake Dead Girlfriend. Dude, Somebody's so... Somebody's name was Fake Dead Girlfriend. It was everywhere. It was, all, it was everywhere. It was and famous. I, I, will, I will say to him, if you, if, uh, uh, Manti, if you're listening, I'm sorry, bro, because I, I, I didn't really know the scope of this whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah, this documentary and you, really and goes and deeper. You can, you can say, say all you want as far as, well, how could he be so stupid and not check this stuff out? Again, he he was a naive person that wanted to trust, and he, he obviously didn't have a whole lot of romantic relationships. He had a connection with someone, and and when you're in a relationship, and everyone else in the world is saying she's crazy, he's crazy, whatever, you can't, yeah, you don't a lot see of times it. You don't see it. All no, that stuff no. becomes noise, and you just ignore it. And uh, it just it's a crazy story. But the people that broke this story had a goal, and I think. The, that's another twisted part about this story. And we'll get to that next dark side of the stream on 104.7 The Cave.
Mike the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. Dark Side of the Stream, episode 103, Untold, the girlfriend who didn't exist. So, uh, beginning of this guy's senior year, his grandmother really did pass away. And then right out of the, the thing with the, his girlfriend gets to the point where she decides. They're supposed to meet. Or they're, yeah, he's it's like, like okay. I got to kill her off. It's over. And then this is after she had already told him that he had she had battled leukemia and survived it and did this whole. And that's why she couldn't meet the first time. That yeah. is just, I can't believe yeah, it, was it kept so going deep, that dude, far. So, deep so he plays his whole senior year lights out. I mean, he becomes in, inevitably becomes a finalist well, for the all, Heisman Trophy. They wanted to draft him after his junior year. Yeah, he said, no, I, he I'm not money, done. And he's like, no, I'm going to go back to school. Mistake. Dude, that's, but that's he almost a won a national. Cast, he, but man. he also had the best year of his career but that yeah, senior year. Yeah, what if you get hurt? Like, Again, money, man. that's a chance you take. Uh, yeah, he almost himself. was the Heisman Trophy oh, winner. Yeah. And he player. almost won the national championship. But Johnny Manziel won the Heisman <laughs> Johnny that football, year. dude. Whatever. <laughs> and again, when they're going through the – you know, he, he I again, don't even know who the third guy was in I their know, lineup. I didn't even know who that cat was. Never even heard his name. That just goes to show you how you never know. What a lineup that was that year. You never know what's going to happen with these kids yeah. because when he, you know, wanted to be in the first round, and they're talking about all after all this came out, and then it completely screwed him in the first round of the draft. Um, you went through the first like five to ten picks. They are none of them are in football. Yeah. I don't know who they are. I, I mean, I was like, golly. But anyway, so it does. I mean, yes, he would have made more money in the first round, but again, he did get drafted by the Chargers. Um, but before all this happened, when the news broke, Deadspin was the one that broke it because I guess someone had sent them an anonymous email saying his girlfriend is fake. Still don't know who that is. Could have been the guy who did it. Could have been a cousin. Because ESPN didn't really, really, know. really played up the story of man, you're you're you went back to school. Your grandma died. Then your girlfriend died. You know, it was a big deal. Everyone took it. All the national, everyone took it. And from Deadspin's perspective, and I I agree with what they were trying to do. Because they want to make media outlets like this big look like idiots nobody for not doing story. their due nobody diligence and actually story. fact checking yeah. all this stuff. No one had done that. An entire season of football went through it. Not <laughs> one person went and said, let's find out who this girl yeah, was. Wait, let's actually do the due diligence that we're supposed to do as reporters. Now, let me ask you, has it gotten better or worse, do you think? No, probably No, worse. it didn't. And instead of these media outlets who had been running wild with this huge, the crazy emotional story about this guy who lost his girlfriend and his grandma, and then they come to find out it's all, it's been a hoax about the girlfriend. Instead of saying we screwed up, yeah. no, they just turned it all on Manti. Yeah, Manti, he, dude. He, he was just he lied like, about boom, it. Boom, boom. The, yeah, this guy, kid. this guy, this guy, he's the one. Which again poor is kid, enough, another screw up. I mean, it's like, ah, Lee, he didn't do anything wrong. The only thing he didn't do was he lied to his parents about meeting this because they are all, I'm sure, right, like dad us. Was, and he was dad like, was yeah. Suspect. But then at a certain point, what is he supposed to say? Um, they had all talked to her on the phone, family members, stuff like that. Um, and so then once he finds out that it's fake because he calls him again and says, Hey, I'm still alive, I'm alive. by the way, that's when he's he like, really screwed he's his like, head right what? before the he's national like, championship like, game. What the hell is going now on? I do I think? Yeah. He couldn't do anything. Couldn't say anything. Couldn't he just had to let it go. Brutal. And it's, it sucks because he's, again, you got to think about this, dude, that kid's 22, 21, yeah. 22. I mean, we've done worse stuff. You know what I mean? And this 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 guy did not deserve any of this. Didn't deserve uh, didn't us deserve. making fun of him. Didn't deserve the blowback. He was a well-disciplined, finely tuned athlete who who busted his butt to get where he was, to have it all taken away because someone wanted to be selfish. And yeah. that's the end of the story. And yeah. then again, a bunch of news corporations wanted to be it's, selfish. Uh, it's crazy, man. It's 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 deeper the story than I remembered it, it being. Yeah, me too. So. And that's why I'm glad you. We, I, I guess I picked it because yeah, I yeah. I wanted to know because you you only hear little pieces of it through what the media tells you, yeah. but then once you hear it from him, and it was years ago too, you know. Yeah, so like, once yeah. you hear it from him, then you know, you know. Um, but he uh, and he inevitably had a an okay career. He ended up giving some injury issues, and um, you know, being in being a stud in college football, then going to the NFL is very tough jump to Hard make even for people him like him that were that talented because it just. So many things have to go right. There are so many people that go into the draft that don't even get drafted that become yeah. stars on the in the NFL because it's just circumstances. Sometimes you peak a little too early. Uh, but we'll talk more about our reviews next. Dark side of the stream on one hundred four point seven, the cave.
Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio one more time. Dark Side of the Stream, episode 103, Untold, the girlfriend who didn't exist. Yeah. So I was going to try really hard. How many fake dead girlfriends? Do not, <laughs> yeah, do not reference that because I feel like I'm making fun of him. But that's, I mean, what else can we do? Yeah. It. Um, how, how, about, how about, how about, how about, how many reporters that don't check facts? Okay. How many Fair reporters enough. that don't check facts? Uh, would there's you two give this? sitting right here in this room. Yeah. How many, <laughs> how many times did that happen? Uh, how many? Uh, I would go, uh, I'll go four and a yeah, half. I liked say, it. I liked it. It was, it was really a deeper good. story. And yeah. it's just a crazy story. Once again, if it was a movie, you'd go, come on, that's too fake. That can never happen in real life. And it really did. It really so those did. are the best type of documentaries, those twisty ones. Again, I would agree. Uh, as far as the rating goes, um, you know. Watch it. It's good. He, he, he got screwed. And the person that did this to him has no, I mean, it, it's like they were trying to make me feel something for her. And I was like, you're a garbage yeah, human being. Yeah, they were trying you're to be selfish. a little sympathetic. Every reporter that had, you're a garbage human being, didn't do your job, and you made this kid life a living hell for years. Now, yeah. I had to look it up. I had to see, is this guy married? Is he, hey, dude, yeah, he's, he's doing he's, great. He's if you should nice. see his wife's like a fitness instructor. No, Holy he's a, hey, moly. He's a lot better looking now than he was. Oh, yeah. He actually, he's, yeah, he's yeah, really yeah, good yeah, looking yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, kind of like became the man he is. Yeah, and yeah. Whatever. He's not. He, I think the and last. And he's uh, very well uh, mentally about it. Like he forgives and everything. Yeah. Like, you know, he like, forgives him. He lets yeah, it go. Interesting. Um, Forgives himself. Got into therapy, which he definitely needed. Interesting. Um, but yeah, it was a wild, wild ride. And I feel, I feel for him, man. You, you just, you have well, to, you speaking have to. Speaking of wild ride, the next documentary is, what is an it? even more wild ride. Uh, Running with the devil. Oh yeah. John McAfee. Uh, yeah. Uh, a camera crew went while he was on the run. And they followed and him and shot the whole thing. They were shooting in real time filming this. Oh, yeah. While they were ride. copying countries and stuff illegally. And John McAfee's an interesting character. Yeah. And it, the way it points to is, you know, he had virus software on every computer. So he has information on everybody. And that's and what so they think. they're saying. This is now why things got so weird. He wasn't crazy. So we'll find out. I started to watch last night, half asleep. And I have to rewatch what I watched because it is so nuts. The documentary that being half asleep was no way to try and take All this right. in. So I'm going to rewatch, start watching. Running it. with the devil. That sounds great. As always, you can watch these live <laughs> on Facebook or YouTube every Thursday at 9 a.m. Or stream it as a podcast on our 104.7 The Cave app. For Dark Side of the Stream, I'm Mike the Intern. This is Jay Stevens. We watch We watch movies, so you don't have to. to. It's Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave.